this is Kevin, also known as AWOL. And today we're doing something a little different than, uh, well, than most anything else I ever make. If you'll notice, that is the same shade of red through all four of those that I just lined on there. And it's the sh same shade of blue. What's different is I'm adding a grayscale to each of these. So, um, basically I started with the light gray and worked myself up to a, the black. Um, which there are four of those. And then the same with going on the blue, there's an additional four more for that. Now, the pattern that I'm chose was something that I'm really familiar with. If you saw my first bag that I ever made or a lot of things that I've made, I use this kind of pattern. Um, I wouldn't necessarily recommend this if you're a beginner. I would say choose a pattern that you are really familiar with, something that um, you think is easy, perhaps a chevron or a candy stripe. But what we're doing here today is I'm really showing the effect of what happens when you mix up something else when you double up your strings. So basically mixing red and a gray or mixing blue and a gray. Now, when I started this, uh, my thought was this was going to look a lot like the, uh, the latest Superman movie, you know, where, uh, Superman and Batman fight and stuff. It turns out that because I didn't go with the darkest first means that there's a lot more of the lighter color. So I think it turned out looking a lot more like the uh, the modern um, Spider-Man perhaps, or maybe somewhere in the middle of the whole Captain America themes. But the idea here is, is that you get a sense of what is possible um, we often look at things and try to mimic other people's stuff and we we don't like apply our own creativity to it. So this is something that I've kind of played with in the past. Um, and it doesn't have to be dramatic. It doesn't have to be like a grayscale with it. If you were to mix um, a couple of different reds together to create an effect, you're still going to get it. As well as, and this is answering uh, somebody else's question over on uh, Reddit, um, how to use the real glossy um, kind of strings, right? The the satin floss, which doesn't like to stay in a knot. Doubling it up like this, you'll get it to pop up, the shiny part to pop up much in the way that the silver pops up in here. So you can mix your strings together. You can get new effects. Um, and I I have to say really honestly, you know, if you're just starting this out you're just trying maybe can't kind of keep it simple on yourself you know mix two blues two reds and two yellows or something and see how that goes and then kind of work it into some other stuff perhaps um if you're really experienced though pick a pattern that you like and go for it the effect is completely unpredictable i would say um it's always even if you do the same kind of thing again a second third time it's going to be different um, each and every time, it, you know, just because of how it lays and how, uh, whatever, mind you, um, I did kind of allude to something like this in the past. There was that rainbow bag that was a giveaway and because the strings were variegated and paired together, they also had this sort of a, a tie dye kind of effect going on with that. So, um, there's another option for you. Maybe you have a red string and then a red variegated string that are paired together that would be a very interesting look um again i i'm just trying to give you guys ideas some some kind of inspiration to try something new and different and um i really think this one is is a lot of fun if for no other reason it's not going to be able to be 100 percent duplicated if a certain effect you know in the pattern emerges um that's just going to be completely random, you know, if you see something else kind of in it. So that's kind of fun. Um, and I just mentioned, right, you can totally do this. You could do this with a chevron if you're really not confident in doing a complex pattern. Um, yeah, do something, do something that you are comfortable with. And um, I think you'll really like the outcome. I mean, um, everybody I've shown the bracelet to so far, has been really wowed by it. And I I don't know, I suspect you could kind of do this if you were doing a alpha pattern, 
you could double up the strings. Sure, why not? Right. Um, so maybe if you were going to do a Superman logo or Spider Man's logo or something, you could double it up like this and really, really kind of capture how the suit has that complex um, darkness to it. Right. So, you know, again, I'm just trying to come up with ideas here. I think it could be fun. Um, do, 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 do. I took some notes here, so <laughs> I think I pretty much covered it. Um, if you guys have questions, if you guys want to see this done in a different style or a different something you want me to, to elaborate on, please, you know, leave me comments. I always good, for, <laughs> it would be always helpful to have more ideas. Um, I do come up with a lot on my own, but you know, it's not to say that I wouldn't appreciate having somebody giving me some new ideas themselves. So, um, and you can see here's where the blue kind of catches up with itself. Oh, and I did go, when it comes to doing the pattern that, you know, take whatever precautions you can like this, like I could have just worked on the left side, but I didn't because it makes it easier. Anything to make it easier. Right? So this is how it turned out. I think it's brilliant. I think um, whoever gets this is going to really probably enjoy it. And you can see how the, the darker gray just sort of makes it a little bit more ominous in the middle. And I think that if I had switched around how I did the colors, I think it would have came out really different. So anyways, well, thank you. And thank you to all my Patreon supporters. You guys are what makes this happen. Um, we will talk about, I think there's going to be two winners this month for June. So if you're not already a Patreon supporter, maybe now's the time to join and don't get your strings in a bunch. <laughs>